Right. Uh, so the Irish fan, uh, bittersweet for them because like they were mentioning there, uh, that they are the best team in Europe. But of course, disappointed that they lost to India. So before we talk about India, because we just heard from a few Irish fans, uh, best team in Europe, you'd have to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the evidence of, of uh, what we've seen so far, certainly the best team in uh, Europe. They certainly have more points than the other teams uh, in, in, uh, in Europe. And, you know, maybe because England and Scotland pretty much are one, maybe, you know, Scotland were generous enough to, you know, give two points to England. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking, of course. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, they've certainly shown a lot more spirit. They've shown a lot more heart. And even uh, against India today, despite the fact that India dominated, the chase was such a good chase uh, and it was clear that they were going to win, uh, they never let up on their efforts. In the field, they were still diving and sliding and trying to stop the ball when only five, six, eight runs were required. Uh, that is that, that I think has been the standout feature. Uh, and, and compared to maybe e England, maybe we didn't quite see that kind of determination in, in, from England. Right. Uh, Vivas, I'll come across to you. I know it was one of the flattest pitches that you'll see in New Zealand. But even then, the, the Irish batting looked much better than the batting that we've seen so far against India. Be it West Indies, South Africa, Pakistan. The Irish team put up a better batting display, would you say? Yeah, without a doubt, you know, and I was just listening to Sunny Bai. Uh, I agree totally with uh, Sunny Bai, you know, because, see, England, if you t uh, take man-to-man, -man, they're much better than the Irish. But what Ireland, Ireland scored over England is their approach to the game, the mental attitude towards the game, the fearless attitude towards the game. And even today they showed it was a do-or-die situation for them. If today they would have won, then probably they would have also qualified for uh, the quarterfinals. Yes, they've got one more game. But the way they started, both the captain and uh, the other opener, the opening stand uh, they gave showed that they were here with a positive intent. And I think uh, it, it was a very uh, brilliant performance from them. Yes, they lost uh, to India. But if you, if you see their performance throughout the World Cup, I think they've been uh, a very good side. They lack in the bowling department, but their batting department is very good. They've got depth in the batting. And as I mentioned, they, they've got the fearless attitude, which is important to do well at this stage. All right, now let's talk about the Indian team, Sanjay. Before we get into individuals, uh, let's take the team's performance, and especially MS Dhoni. Uh, you know, the start wasn't the best start. Indian bowlers have started better today. And then suddenly he brings the off-spinner in, brings Suresh Raina in. Do you think it was a Dhoni masterclass at his best as far as captaining is concerned? Yes, I think he seems to be proactive in, in uh, limited overs cricket. He reads the game, the situation, reads the pitch, reads actually the, the bowler's body language, how the bowlers are feeling when he makes those changes. He quickly saw that the new ball wasn't being as effective. He quickly saw that Ravinder Jadeja, Ashwin had been brought after Jadeja. Uh, Ravinder Jadeja was also not making the impact that he hoped he would. And so he, he, he brought Suresh Raina and uh, quickly bowled his uh, a few overs uh, done. Now that has been the hallmark really. I mean, that, that's the way he's captain. He has been aware of what, what to do and in, in what kind of situation. And well, the results were there because look, they got off to a very good start. Uh, they were scoring at almost six runs and over. Yeah, 60 and, for no loss. Yeah, and it's only when you had uh, Ashwin coming in and, and from the other end, Suresh Raina, that the uh, the breaks were applied. Ashwin bowled superbly once again, mixing his deliveries very well, bowling at the at the speed now with which he has become comfortable. Right. With bowling also, you know, you got to get comfortable with a certain you know uh, kind of flight you're giving the, the speed at which you're bowling. It doesn't come straight away. Uh, and uh, with practice and with the fact that he's such a good thinker on the game, he's managed to get it uh, right. And therefore, uh, he was able to, what, eight overs for 19 runs? Fantastic. I mean, in limited overs to get bowling, your first eight overs for 19, amazing. Okay, uh, Vivian, uh, talking about Dhoni's captaincy, you know, most people can be good captains when things are going perfectly right in the field. It's only times when things go wrong that you really see which one is a good captain. Do you think Dhoni, uh, situations like this, and he comes out at his best whenever they are tough situation. We see the best side of Dhoni. Yes, an individual also last last game the way he batted in tough situation to win the game for India against West Indies. But even today, you saw the way uh, Umesh Yadav was removed after just two overs. And here you're talking about a bowler who has been in tremendous form for the last four games. So that is what a good captain always is. He's not just sticking to one plan. But he's proactive, he's flexible, and he assesses the situation, he assesses the condition, and he assesses the opposition batsman. And I think he, he, when he saw uh, Mohit Sharma bowl one off 
uh, cutter and suddenly the ball gripped and turned and that's when he realized that it's better to actually get the spinners because they will be more purchased from the wicket for spinners because the bowl, fast bowlers were not bowling good length uh, on, on this Hamilton wicket. So I think it is important to be flexible and Dhoni is a master at that and good to see the bowlers respond. See, Dhoni sometimes, you know, does make good changes, but if the bowlers doesn't respond, then the captain looks like a fool. But today, all the bowlers, especially the spin bowlers, uh, yeah, we are talking about Ashwin, but credit to Suresh Raina also, because he's a part-time bowler. You expect Ashwin, who is in wonderful rhythm right from the first game against Pakistan. Right. But the way Suresh Raina came, bowled in uh, those, you know, useful overs, not, not giving any boundaries at all. And the good thing is, left-handers were taking strike. So that's why he was able to use Suresh Rana and finish off his overs. Okay. Uh, Sunny Bhai, first let me congratulate you. Today happens to be the 30th anniversary of the 1985 uh, Champions of Champions win. Many believe that that was probably one of the best ODI side that India had. Do you, do you see shades of that team in this team? Because this is looking like a champion team. You guys won the championship down under. Do you think this team can win a championship here too? They can win the championship, but uh, it, it, I don't think, I mean, and again, it's not fair to compare because yeah. we're talking about different playing conditions, uh, uh, you know, different rules. Uh, so, not fair to complain. Mm -hmm. If this team had somebody even 10% of what Kapil Dev was as an all-rounder, then this team would be complete. They do not have, as I said, well, even if they had somebody like a Ravi Shastri or uh, a Mohinder Ramanath, Madan Lal in this team, they don't have that. If they had somebody like that, then this team would be definitely, you know, a tremendous team and, 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 a, and a team hard to beat. Uh, not necessarily in the World Cup, but any limited overs cricket. All right. Uh, but at the moment, because Sunny Bhai spoke about Kapil Dev, uh, MS Dhoni has crossed Kapil Dev's record of most numbers of win uh, in World Cup matches as skipper. Uh, Vives, I'll come to you. And this was one thing that we spoke about uh, with Sunny Bhai before the game started, that individual goals that players may have. One was for Rohit Sharma to strike some form. Do you think that is one box that the Indian team can tick? Because he was not in form, scored a few runs today. It'll, it'll be very good for India going ahead into the tournament. Yes, absolutely. And I think uh, it was a good knock from uh, Rohit. Yeah, he would have probably wanted to convert into a three-figure mark. But the way he batted, you know, he, he's a beautiful timer of the ball. He didn't look to uh, hit the ball hard and he played to his strengths. And especially the, some of the cover drives he played and one lofted off drive showed that he's timing the ball well and he's in good touch. It's just about getting runs under his belt. So spending time uh, uh, on the wicket will always help. And that's why I was a little disappointed that Suresh Raina or Jadeja didn't get an opportunity uh, to bat today. Yeah, Virat Kohli is in good neck. Ajinkya Rahane is in good nick, but Suresh Raina and uh, uh, especially Ravindra Jadeja don't have runs under their belt. You know, so I think how much ever they do net practice, how much ever they do work, work hard in their practice sessions, spending time and even getting a 30 or a 40 not out in a match uh, environment uh, in the middle would have been a huge confidence booster for them. But right. yes, Rohit Sharma getting uh, back to some kind of form is excellent news because Shikhar Dhawan is in ominous form and both of them are you know, de developing into a real dangerous opening fa pair for India. Okay, uh, since VVS mentioned it, that's why I wanted your opinion on it. Do you think it made sense uh, because we had a great opening partnership which set the base for a win. Could have got uh, Rena or uh, Jadeja to bat ahead of say Kohli or Rahane? Yes, but I, I think um, what Mahi doesn't want to do obviously is change the rhythm of the team. So when you start making these uh, batting changes, you change the entire rhythm of the team. Uh, so even if uh, maybe uh, you know you would have lost Jadeja and Raina early, and then if uh, Kohli had to come in at, at say number six or five or six, the rhythm would have changed. Yeah. So you want to keep a winning rhythm going, and you're saying to yourself that look, maybe we will not need uh, Ravindra Jadeja at all in this entire tournament. Mm -hmm. um, in that 1985 uh, tournament, I don't think Jimmy Amanath batted at all or maybe batted for just one innings out of all the innings that we did because the openers did so well and, and then the Azar, Azar batted well. So we are all, all you know, so when things are going well, you don't really want to change, you know, the, that rhythm. Okay, and uh, MS Dhoni was very categorical in the press conference as well, said that doesn't seem like he'll make too many changes for the Zimbabwe game as well because he wants to keep that uh, winning momentum. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Sunny Gavaskar and VVS Lakshman.